does it matter if there are levels of emergence? Because when you say consciousness, animals are also conscious. There are dogs, they are clearly conscious. Uh, chimpanzees, I'm sorry, let's go down to monkeys. A capuchin helper monkey yeah. is definitely conscious, yeah. but it is not conscious on what we would consider the level that we are. We don't know if it's pondering its existence and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Whales are definitely dolphins. So, it, but does it matter that there are levels of consciousness? No, it's, I mean, they, they would just be one of those remarkable properties of atoms. Um, <laughs> was he, again, to gotcha. quote Carl Sagan again, didn't he say that a physicist is a hydrogen atom's way of learning about hydrogen atoms? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great definition of a physicist. That's a great <laughs> quote. Yeah. I never heard that. I never heard it at that level. I heard <laughs> that's uh, a, humans are a way for the universe to know itself. itself. That's, yeah. that's also yeah. great. That, I've heard you say that's that. That's a little higher up than yeah, hydrogen that, atoms. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, though. That's another great but quote. There's another example. Uh, you know, in, in cosmology, about three or four minutes after the Big Bang, you have 75% hydrogen, 25% helium, a bit of lithium, maybe, not much else, tiny bit of beryllium, I think, and that's it. And then you go, so there's also that story which I tell in the show of how you go from that, which we have a very good picture of, let's say 10 minutes after the Big Bang, how you then go to this 13.8 billion years later, which is stars and planets, yes, but at us as well. It's a, it's a remarkable story. But it's understood in broad sweep. Mm. Yeah. No, that is not true. And, uh, <laughs> we all know that the greatest story ever told is Jesus. Okay. Please stop. Okay. Uh, well, he's an emergent thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I mean, so true. <laughs>